Ding. Hi, I have your order from FoodX. I ordered this over an hour ago. FoodX says specifically 30 minutes or less or you get your food free. Right, it does say that. The problem is you place three different orders at three different restaurants and then you canceled a couple times. So this is the most recent order that you placed 10 minutes ago. They're really trying to argue with me. Like, you see the house I live in? Yeah, it's a beautiful house. But if you say that I wasn't fast enough, I'll have to pay it myself. And I would have gotten here faster, except the tires in my bicycle just blew out. You rode a bicycle here? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's all I can afford right now because of the pandemic and my parents getting this horrible... Save those stories for somebody else. I'm not interested. I'm sure you make enough money from tips. Maybe next time, try to be faster. Don't worry, this time I got a truck instead of a bicycle, so I was able to go faster, avoid stoplights, and get your order here in under five minutes. A new record for me. It's the wrong order. That's a steak and asparagus. I specifically asked for a rebuy, and this is filet mignon. It's steak and asparagus? Okay, I guess I'll just go back to the restaurant and get a new order. No, no, I can, I'll keep this. Just give me the new one too. It's not sanitary to take it back. Oh, well maybe I could just eat it real quick. See, my family and I haven't been able to eat all week. I mean, that's not my problem. Eat on your own time and your own dime. Go get me the meal. Oh my gosh, what? You hit me. Oh. I'm so sorry. I just got this truck, except I was I was in park, not reverse. You hit me. I'm going to sue you. I don't have anything. Well, your parents, I'm sure they have whatever they have. My parents are in the hospital with the virus. My family and I haven't eaten all week. What? You've been around people that have the virus? You have to leave. You can't stay here. I would, but you're blocking my truck. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to block you until the police gets here. You're not going anywhere. No, please. I don't have registration for this truck. Are you serious? You don't know what troubles you're in, Missy. Ding. Mom, Dad, I'll get it. You guys rest. It's $10, and if you can leave tips in cash, that'd be great. Thanks. Don't I know you? I doubt it. You used to live here, didn't you? Oh, you probably saw the article. The article? Crypto king get busted by the police. You too, huh? You didn't see the article? I'm confused. How is that injury from that blue truck hitting you? Foodex girl? I'm actually a lawyer now at Foodex. I'm a head of legal team at Foodex. I'm working there to help people from being scammed by scammers like you. You're a lawyer now? I mean, you're female. I'm non-binary, and yes, I was doing food delivery just to pay for law school, but I had to learn the law a whole lot faster after going to jail. I just can't believe you're in my house. Well, it's my house now and you're five minutes late. It's fine. I'll pay for it. I know. No, one second. Here's $10,000. I'm going to be paying for your meals for the next year. If you promise to stop scamming people online and in real life. And I'll be checking all the blogs to make sure this does not end up as another online scam in crypto, gambling, etc. I'll have my paralegals on it. Wow, thank you. We might actually have a roof over our head this year. You know, me and my daughter. Wait, you're homeless? Yeah, when the feds busted us, I mean, they took everything. They left me with nothing. Wait one second. What's that? Well, you remember that blue truck? I've kept it all these years to remind me where this all started from. Oh, and? It didn't hit you, did it? No. It's your truck now, so you can make your delivery on time to ensure that you and your daughter will never be homeless again. That's amazing. I can't believe this. Mm, speechless. Thank you. The house does look good on you. Thanks. I've earned it. Hi, and thanks for watching another Trish Talks. Please go ahead and share this with anyone you think may be needing advice in this particular subject. Work hard. 
there are no shortcuts in life. And the shortcuts that are there are not worth taking. It's shorter reward. I promise you that. Hard work pays off and hard work shows. You do not need to boast and you do not need to treat people poorly. Your success will show and shine on its own if it's true and authentic. Don't scam anyone. Scammers never win and the truth will always prevail. Working hard is better than scamming people. Definitely persevere. A penny earned is a penny saved and a penny saved is a penny earned. You have to start somewhere. The person in the story was going to law school and being a food delivery driver. That says a lot. Look where that person ended up compared to the person being nasty. We're all on our own journey and we're all on our own path. Remember, money doesn't equal happiness, but being kind, it's priceless and costs absolutely nothing. Thanks for watching this Trish Talks. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you want to hear more about any of these messages that you see or the characters involved. They all are fictitious, but the plot and the story is not. We're in the real world where working hard pays off and some money in the bank isn't the only success you can have in life, but being nice is. See you next time.